Angel were here. Whoa. Angel? Where is he? Did he call you too? God. What the hell happened what? here? What the hell hit this place? Where'd all this water come from? Well, God. Where is everybody? Look, let's get up and have a fuck. search, all right? Yeah. Take over there. I'll take over here. Yeah, well, I'll go down yes, here. Sir. What happened? I guess. Oh, it's, uh, it's all right. Uh, uh, Katie. Is that? One smart Alex. You mark one little smirk. So help me, I'm going to strangle you. What happened? I, 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 I don't even know what happened. You're the one that never leaves the job until it's finished, right? What's that got to do with this? I stayed here just to make sure that everything would be perfect for tonight's performance. Well, what went wrong? I'm in my dressing room, going over my lyrics. All of a sudden, the sky is falling. The entire ceiling caves in on me. It's so funny. Tons of water drenched over the entire place. <laughs> I guess the whole, the, the old plumbing in this place just couldn't take it. The main pipes just burst upstairs. How much damage do you think? It's, it's pretty bad. Uh, no one knew what was going on until we heard the crash in Kate's dressing room. Oh, and she started screaming. Uh, Kate, you're all right, though, right? Yeah, I'll, mm. I'll be fine as soon yeah. as I dry off. Then. How long will you have to close down? Well, it'll be for a while. But I've got everyone on staff upstairs trying to clean up so that the ceilings won't cave in. Well, give me a sponge and I'll help anything. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah, help. We can you. use all the help we can get. Yeah. You know, I better go check the instruments upstairs. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, no, hard. The two of you worked on your... Don't get the hell out of April showers. <laughs> Well, the instruments are pretty well gone. The scores are ruined. Oh, Dad. I can't believe that water could cause this much damage into the floors, the ceiling, everything. You know, somebody Good. better call Terry. I just got off the phone with her. Mm -hmm. She feels terrible. She told me to go ahead and make the adjustments and the repairs and send her the bills. Oh, oh Terry, I feel terrible. Anna, what are you going to do until this club is reopened? Well, don't worry about me. I've got plenty to keep me busy. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary, maybe you should call Donate up and we can reschedule that concert that I had done. Wait, wait. What concert was this? Uh, I had... I had set up a concert for right after the honeymoon, which is would have been right about now. And, um... So anyway, would you call him up and maybe... Certainly. Mary, uh, please, just hold off for a second, will you? The third time I've called. No. It doesn't look like Frisco's having much luck either. Well, call if you find Well? No, nothing. Well, so what now? Anna's with Tom. I want to join her. Hey, you want me to come with you? No, sweetie. You're fine. Not this time. Besides, give you more opportunities to make funny phone calls, hmm? Mm-hmm. Fine. What did that mean? Oh, well, let's just say that... It's a very fortunate choice to go to New Orleans. Yep, it's full of surprises, including Terry. Terry? Mm-hmm. She's performing there. How is she? She looks great. She loves being on the road. I didn't get a chance to see her perform, but I did get a chance to talk to her. Oh, Robert doesn't know any of this, of course. That you saw her? Mm hmm Or that, um, we made a deal. Really? What kind of deal? Well, one that would include you, if you're interested. What's it about? I want to buy the club, fix it up, turn it into a showcase for you. Mm. Sometimes me. What did you just say? Well, you would be the main draw. Um, no, no, it's not that simple. I mean... No, no, it, it is that simple. I'm going to buy the club. Uh, then... Catherine. Right hmm. there, I'm gonna buy the club. Buy. You just don't buy the club. It costs a lot of money to run a place like that. You know, you just don't take it over. Yes, I know. And what exactly did you want me to do? Work with me. Mm -hmm. I, this is not going to be an easy task. No. Partners. Yeah, you'd you'd sing and play and teach me the way that that you do things, you know? And uh, I guarantee you, we're both gonna have our work cut out for us. Mm hmm I see. It's all a bit of a surprise. Give me a minute here. You're turning into quite a businesswoman, you know. Yes, I know. So, uh, does that mean you're in? <clears throat> well, I mean, this isn't a decision on my own here. I, you know, I have to consult a few people, first of all. You know, I'm a house husband now, too. Yes. <laughs> yes, you yes. do it. Yes. Yes. Now, why doesn't yes. Robert, why can't he know about this? Oh, well, 
You know, everything that's been happening with Robin, I'm just glad that I held off telling them. Look, um, I think it'd be better off if Robert not know about this deal until it's signed, sealed, and delivered. Here I am, baby. Oh, signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. Honey, you, have you to got learn a lot of work to do. I got to learn this song. <laughs> Here I am, baby. Mm -hmm. I signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. Where's the mic? Yeah. Okay, we're going to need to make some changes. You know, I was thinking about maybe even tying this whole thing in with a, like a late night TV spot. Oh, perfect. Then Felicia can watch me at home every night. Oh, no way. I'll be there. I'll be there. No, honey, you will be table, so bored. Trust me, you don't want to be there every night. Maybe I'll be bored with you, but never with Catherine. Huh? Some fan. Don't make jokes about funny fans. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, You know, I was thinking... Um, some ideas about wardrobe as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, bare chests, leather whips, things yeah. like that? Well, that would take care of me. What are you going to wear? <laughs> I was hoping you'd come up with something. Yeah. Oh, come on. No, no, that's why you're here. I need your input on all of this kind of stuff. You might time. be careful what you ask for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, okay. This is really, really exciting. I've got to continue with this list here. Honey, listen, I'm going to go check this guy out. Done at headquarters, all right? That's right. First things first, huh? First. Hang in there, pards. <laughs> okay. Oh, <my> pards. <laughs> okay. I'm leaving again. Okay. See you later. Bye. 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 Love you. She's talking to me? <laughs> She's with Nurse Kleinberg. Please report to nursing and minister. Kate? Hi. Did you see Robin? Uh, yes. Uh, she's in there with Robert and um, Anna. And uh, she keeps mumbling about her crystal. I mean, crystal thing. Hi. 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 What's wrong? Huh? Oh, nothing. I just got off the phone with Robert. Uh-oh, is he on to me? No, we're still trying to get a line on this A.C. Rogers. So what did he find out? Well, nothing. It's as though this guy never existed. Never existed? Yeah. Oh, poor Robin. This must be really tough on her. I'm sure she's not alone. This whole thing has got to be taking its toll on Anna as well. I called the house at the answering machine. Uh, Robert called again. Oh, damn. You can't keep putting him off, you know. No, I know. There's no telling, though, when that super sleuth gets nosy and he starts poking around here. <laughs> you know, I happen to have made his favorite sandwich for you to take over to lunch. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Don't you think? That's an idea. For food, food. That's, that's going to keep his mind out of my business for a while. What's the big deal? Why aren't you telling him? right time in the right way i'm sure that you've kept your share of secrets from felicia colton would you like to help me over here sure no he doesn't do that anymore it's for you honey everybody's fine your mother and casey they're all doing fine your father wanted me to come here and tell you that see there what have we been telling you that's right he's Happy got a lid on this it's all under control, okay? Okay, you're helping him, too? Yeah, I'm helping a little bit. Oh, good. So Casey's got three people on his side. You, Mom, and Dad. Three? Well, I count four here. You're leaving out the most important. You. <laughs> Are you hungry? No, I'm not. Thanks. Anyone else hungry? Hey, I'll go get something for all of us. No, I'll go. I'll go. Well, I'll come with you. Okay. Otherwise, the cook will have a fit. Mm -hmm. Come on. Brave kid, huh? Yeah, she's, she's fantastic. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm having just a wee bit of trouble with this alien story. Well, it's not easy, I understand. No, I'm, uh, but uh, Rob doesn't seem to be having any trouble with it. I'm not so sure about that. Well, for someone who is as inherently skeptical and cynical and suspicious as he is, he does seem to be buying this story. I tell you, when he showed up at that cabin, we didn't know if he was with us or against us or what. I'm not surprised. I mean, he'd do anything to help Anna. Well, in this case, he had no choice. Don't forget that. Oh, uh, when it comes to Anna, he, he, he never does. I just hope that this whole thing doesn't just backfire in his face.
recap this morning's major headline, a private group has offered a $1 million reward for the capture of the alleged alien and for the former police chief, Anna Devane. Somebody, uh, Looks like the weather in the Port Charles area will remain the same as it has for the last few days. On the sports front... Why don't they keep bothering Casey? All he wants to do is go home. Oh, sweetheart, they're just doing that for publicity, that's all. It's my fault. If I hadn't told those Air Force guys where they were, Mom and Casey wouldn't have to be hiding out. I'm your godfather, right? Hmm? Right. Now, in order to get to be your godfather, I had to promise to make sure that nothing would happen to you. Mm -hmm. I had to make that promise. Mm -hmm. You think I'm going to let you down? No. Okay. That means I'm not going to let anything happen to your mother or Casey. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying for them, too. Well, that can't hurt. No, it can't. Helped at the hospital. I know it did. I prayed we'd find the crystal, and we did. You did? Mm -hmm. well, I didn't know that. I put him in his hands, and I prayed some more that he'd get better. And just got up and walked right out of there, didn't it? Casey told me it wasn't just the crystal. It was my prayers that helped, too. You see. So what are you worrying about? <laughs> I'll try not to worry. Okay. Okay, chum. Chocolate chips and milk on the ticket. Mm. Come on, to the kitchen. Mm. We'll pick yeah. up. Sounds good. Hey, don't ruin the figure. <laughs> Save me a few. Okay. Bye. Bye. You know, it would really be a crying shame if you didn't have a little girl of your own someday. Not yeah, someday. Well, you and your better half have discussed or, you know, planning a family, haven't you? Oh, well, we talked about it. Uh, we talked about it. I haven't seen her lately. Is everything all right? Well, we've run into a few difficulties. I don't really want to get into it. You don't have to talk about it. Well, I hope I can make her understand, huh? Well, when you do, would you talk to Robert? Maybe he can follow your lead. Do you, oh, I take it you haven't heard from Anna and Felicia yet? No, nothing. I'm sorry. Listen, do you, ha do you have a minute to talk about What's up? Well, I know this isn't a good time or a place, but I wanted to let you know that the renovations on the club are almost completed. It looks like we're going to be opening in about two weeks. Well, it's, it's good to hear some good news for a change. Yeah. Well, I, I would really like it if you could sing on opening night but listen i understand with everything that's going on maybe you don't want to or you don't have the time or something you know what let's go ahead and book it I and mean, who knows if i'm lucky police will be sitting front row center right yeah and if i'm lucky there'll be somebody out in the audience for me too well, robert will be there <gasps> count on that oh no i i don't think i can count on it uh no i mean i'm I'm hoping that he'll be there. I want him to be there, but chances are something's going to come up at the last minute. It's going to drag him away. I'm just used to that sort of thing happening, you know. But the show must go on. Well, I don't like the sound of that. Sounds right to me. Unless you know something that I don't know. Look, I'm not big on giving advice, and I don't like when people try to give it to me, but... You know, Robert's been a little preoccupied lately. You have to understand oh, let's, that. Let's forget, let's forget about Robert. He'll either be there or he won't be there. Who knows? But the audience is going to be there, and they're expecting something sensational. So we'll give it to him, right? Yeah. And it's going to take a little rehearsal, though. Right. Um, but, you know, I know you're, you're in a rush. We both have things to do, so... Uh, but if you could tell me, if you have any idea when you're going to have some free time so that you, could, you and I could get together... Okay. And rehearse. Right. Uh, you know what, I... have I'm going to take one crisis at a time right now, okay? But I'll be in touch with you, okay? okay? okay. Right. And you wouldn't believe the number of details involved in opening the club. I mean, there's people that I have to hire. There's forms to fill out. There's advertising and... Oh, 
No matter what I do, I'm sure that something is going to go wrong in the last minute anyway. Well, you can count on me. I oh. said I'd be there, and I'm going to be. I am counting on you. And, oh, let me know as soon as you can how many people you want there and how many seats you need, because Angel thinks it's going to fill up very fast. Really? Oh, oh wait, 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 let me show you, show you. Here's a new seating. I don't think you haven't seen this yet. I want to show you the table that I've reserved for Robert. It's that one right there, the one nearest the bar. <laughs> I really don't know how you'd do it, Katie. Do what? Well, and keep working like this in the midst of all of our dramas around here. I mean, we haven't even heard from Robert. He haven't even called in today. Well, how do I do it? I, uh, I keep my mind on other things. Probably a very good idea. You know, Lewis asked me to help him out on this Ned Ashton fiasco. I was thinking about doing it. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's great. I think uh, sure beats sitting around here and worrying, if you ask me. Well, you're probably right. Yeah. Come on, I'll walk you out. All right. All right. Uh, 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 Frisco, um, could you do me a favor and just leave word as to where you're going to be at in, in case Robert should happen to call in? I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything, okay? Yeah, you promise. I promise. <laughs> if Robin calls, find out where she is, and if she comes home, just make sure that you keep her there. Do you hear? No, no, no. That's 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 exactly what. Just please do it for me, Olin. Are you okay? I gotta find the little girl, Robin. Absolutely not. You're in no condition to leave. Oh, my God. Order leave. Order leave. Order leave. Order leave. Get him in there now. Watch out for his arm. I've got to find her. I've got to find the little girl, Rob. Please, you got to let me out. Dr. Hardy, that's all I'm asking. I just need to find a little girl, please. Okay, now lie down. Somebody's got to... I don't want to lie down. I want to... Lie down, Frisco. We don't need to lose you, too. Find out where she... What do you mean, lose him, too? Right. Yes, you did. What are you talking about? Yeah. There's something you're not... What are you talking yeah, about? There's something please, you're not telling me? Please, 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 what? Please, please, what are you talking about? Is Sean going to die? No. What are you talking... Is he going to... Hey, you're not supposed to be getting up. Yeah, well, I broke a rule. So did I. I brought you a phone. It's for you. Don't tell. Robert? Uh, it's Mariah, Frisco. Are you all right? How did you know I was here? It, it's been all over television down here about you and Sean being shot. How is he? He's in surgery right now. Oh, and what about you? Oh, I'm all right. Does Felicia know about this? I'm not sure. That's why I'm calling you. What's the matter? Is she okay? She's gone, Frisco. you are gone? What do you mean she's gone? We can't find her. We've looked everywhere. She left a note saying not to worry, but... Well, just what the hell are those WSB guys supposed to be doing down there, anyway? Look, it's not their fault. They went after her. Well, did, did the note say why she left? No. I can only guess she saw one of the newscasts. Oh, damn it. I'm just praying that she's on her way to Port Charles to see you. Mia, yeah, that's probably the last person she wants to see right now. Say that again? This connection is awful. I need to find out about Sean Donnelly or Frisco Jones. Are they all right? Are you immediate family? What? Are you immediate... Look, I can't hear you. Um, I, and I'm really busy. I need to find out how they are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That information can only be given to immediate family. But I am. Hello? 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 General Hospital, 10th floor. Frisco, what are you doing out of bed? Steve told you to lay down. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's a little tough to relax with this storm. <laughs> you noticed, huh? It's a little tough not to notice. You know what I mean? Do you think that... I, I don't know. I don't know what to think. John? He's is he in post right? op. He's in post op right now. But is he all right? It was rough going, but Tony managed to get the bullet out. Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. He's just not out of the woods yet. Hello. 
alive. He's alive. He's alive. Bob, in this case, now it's over as far as you're concerned. Is that understood? I sure hope you're right, Commissioner. Katie! Hey! So is it true? Here's is what true, baby. Is yeah, it it's true. I have missed you so much. Oh, it's all true. Hey, Frisco! Oh, hi, hi, Frisco. hi, Mary. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, good nice. to see you. you Guess what, Frisco? There's hardly a table left in the house. Is that right? Oh, Mary. Oh, what? I almost forgot. Um, that that reporter, Chef Casey. Uh, would you make sure that his name is on the list? I promised him a place. Uh, Casey, Casey. Yeah. I better do it now, or Chef, else. Chef, Chef, Chef Casey. Chef Casey. Okay. Okay. Woof, Casey. <laughs> oh, we'll have to hang him in the cloakroom. Casey, Casey. Frisco, that sounds wonderful. Frisco, Frisco, Frisco. Thanks, Mary. You play it again, Sham. Play it again. Oh, I'm so glad that you are here. So glad. What's the problem? Uh, only the worst case of stage fright that I've ever had. Why do you have stage fright? You've played in front of people. Mm. Most... You're not even playing, by the way. I know. I know. Well, why don't you just tell me to stomach that, okay? It's a nice song. Thanks. Is that something you've been working on? Yeah. It's not quite finished yet, though. Well, I, I like it. It sounds really great. May, may, I, may I look at it? Fine. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is really... I like this chord right there. Mm -hmm. Are you going to play this tonight? I don't know if I'll have it together by then. You see, I wrote this for this woman in my life. But I don't know if she's actually in my life or not. Ah, oh, come on, don't say that. Well, <clears throat> Catherine kind of boils down to this. You know, I've been going through a lot lately. I've been looking for her. I don't know where the hell she is. She shows up in town and she goes straight to her ex-husband. I don't know what's going on. I don't understand it. I don't know anything, but I do know this. She loves you. You love her. And if she came bouncing in these doors, you'd pick her up in your arms and you'd twirl her around and... I think everything would be fine. I'll either do that or wring her little neck. Yeah. Hi. Hi, hi. Well, because you haven't noticed, the joint out there is really jumpy. Hey, kid, you're a success, huh? <laughs> well, not unless I can deliver a headlining act. Do I still have one? Yeah, I'll definitely... I'll definitely perform for you. I can't promise my heart's going to be in it, but I'll, oh, I'll give you my go, best. Let's go. You and Felicia are going to be fine. You just... just give it time. Time. Listen, Catherine, time is not going to heal this situation. Trust me. <sighs> Oh, I know, I know, but uh, call it a temporary setback. Felicia hasn't even heard your side of the story yet. Look, I appreciate your friendship, and I thank you for wanting to help. But this is a situation that's uh, it's kind of gone a little too far. I mean, she comes back to town. She knows that I've been looking for her. She goes straight to her ex-husband. You know what that says to me? That says that she doesn't care about me. She doesn't care about my feelings. She doesn't care about what I think. I'll tell you something. If she doesn't care about me, I don't care about her. Wish me luck. Uh, closet. Closet. I knew that. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Delafields. I'd like to thank you all for being here and for your support, for which I might add you'll be very richly rewarded, not only with great food and great dancing, but with the greatest entertainment that Port Charles can offer. Let's hear it for Mr. Frisco Jones! <laughs>
lunch for the future Got nothing left for me Ooh, running reckless through the city To find my fantasy Look into your eyes and find it Looking back at me Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mr. Frisco Jones. Thank you. Thank you very much. It seems as though we have uh, someone asking for a special request tonight. <clears throat> now, this person says that they're having a problem in their relationship, and she would like to know if there's anything I can do to help mend the problem. Uh, I have a song that I've been working on I hadn't intended on doing, but maybe I can say what you mean. The moments that talk 